Did you know that the Eiffel Tower, one of the most iconic symbols of France, was once considered a monstrous eyesore by many Parisians? Yes, that's right. The story of the Eiffel Tower, an emblem of the City of Light, is steeped in controversy and intrigue. It all started in the late 19th century, during the planning stages of the 1889 Exposition Universelle, or World's Fair. The event was held to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution, and the city of Paris wanted to commemorate it with something extraordinary. A competition was held, inviting architects and engineers from around the world to submit designs for an iron tower that would stand on the Champ de Mars near the Seine and reach a staggering 300 meters in height. Among the many submissions, the design of Gustave Eiffel, a renowned French civil engineer, was selected. However, it was not met with unanimous praise. In fact, it was the subject of much controversy. Some of Paris's most esteemed artists and intellectuals signed a petition titled Artists Against the Eiffel Tower, objecting to its construction. They called it a disgraceful skeleton, an eyesore that would overshadow the city's beloved landmarks like Notre Dame, the Louvre and the Arc de Triomphe. But Gustave Eiffel defended his design vehemently. He argued that his tower symbolized the industrial age, and he believed it would demonstrate France's technological prowess to the world. And so, the construction went ahead, amid the public outcry. The Eiffel Tower was initially intended to be a temporary exhibit, lasting only for the duration of the Exposition Universelle. But Gustave Eiffel had other plans. He ensured its survival by repurposing the tower as a radio transmission tower. Despite the public outcry, the Eiffel Tower stood tall and proud, ready to make its mark on the world. This was just the beginning of its remarkable journey from a controversial construction to one of the world's most recognized monuments. The Eiffel Tower's story didn't end with the World's Fair. In fact, it was just beginning. After the sparkling lights of the fair dimmed, the Eiffel Tower began to find its purpose in the City of Light. It became more than just a colossal symbol of French engineering prowess, it was a beacon of innovation and resilience. In the early 20th century, the Eiffel Tower found its voice, quite literally. It served as a radio transmission tower during World War I, sending messages across the battlefield and becoming an essential part of communication infrastructure. The Iron Lady, as it was fondly called, stood tall amidst the chaos, guiding the nation with its silent strength. But the tower's survival was threatened during World War II. There were rumors that Hitler ordered its demolition, but the Iron Lady stood her ground, surviving the war and living to tell the tale, becoming a symbol of French resilience and endurance. Over the years, the Eiffel Tower has undergone various renovations, each one adding a new chapter to its story. The installation of lifts was indeed a remarkable feat, making the tower accessible to all. The lifts brought the panoramic views of Paris within reach, and the Eiffel Tower became not just a symbol to be admired from afar, but a vantage point to admire Paris itself. The addition of a glass floor in 2014 was another bold move, transforming the experience of the Eiffel Tower. Now, visitors could walk on air, suspended above the city, adding an element of thrill to the visit. This feature brought a new perspective, literally and figuratively, to what the Eiffel Tower offered to its visitors. The Eiffel Tower, once deemed a monstrosity, had transformed into an indispensable part of Paris's skyline. Over the years, it has evolved from a controversial construction to a beloved symbol, from a simple structure to a beacon of innovation, and from a wartime communication tool to a tourist attraction. The Eiffel Tower is a testament to the ever-changing landscape of Paris, standing tall as a symbol of the city's past, present, and future. Today, the Eiffel Tower stands as one of the most visited paid monuments in the world. Rising above the Parisian skyline, it's an unmissable beacon that draws in millions of people from all corners of the globe each year. This Iron Lady of France, with her intricate latticework and towering height, is much more than just a tourist attraction. She's a cultural symbol, a beacon of French ingenuity and artistry. Every year, an estimated 7 million people ascend this iconic structure to marvel at the breathtaking panoramic views of Paris. From its platforms, you can see the city unfolding beneath you, from the Seine River's winding path to the historic Montmartre district. The Eiffel Tower is not merely a testament to the past, but a living, breathing part of Paris's present and future. The Eiffel Tower, with its unique history and evolution, serves as a testament to Paris's enduring charm and resilience. So let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've taken today. We began with the Eiffel Tower's controversial inception, a structure once heavily criticized for its audacious design. We then charted its evolution, witnessing how it weathered the winds of change to become an integral part of Parisian skyline. Today, this iron lattice tower stands as the beloved emblem of France, admired by millions around the globe. 
The Eiffel Tower, once an eyesore, now a symbol of beauty and resilience, a true testament to the power of time and change.